Hi there, welcome back. New microphone is getting the thumbs up from many of you, so I'm happy with that. Thank you for the feedback. Helps me know that uh, that this is okay because I'm working with minimal equipment here. <laughs> I I I'm very honest. Tech things are low on my on my interest and priority scale. <laughs> now my gear, I like that. I don't mind spending money on my gear. Um, but as far as thrifty things, I like to be thrifty. And my tech things, if I'm making do with what I got, I'm okay with that. So that's why I record with my phone. I do what minimal editing I can do with my little Acer Chromebook over here. And, and that's what we get. So, but uh, thank you to... Uh, to those of you who keep coming back. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Catherine. I live in Canada. I'm here on the North Shore of Lake Ontario. And I live, if I were to want to drive right into downtown Toronto, and if you live here, you call it Trana. Um, if I wanted to get right downtown and see the Eaton Center and the CN Tower and all that good stuff and go to the theaters, we've got a big theater district. Probably take me an hour and a half, not at rush hour. Rush hour, oh, anything goes. Uh, Toronto is famous for its rush hour. We actually have the widest highway in North America. I would have thought like Los Angeles or something. But uh, unless something has changed, the last time I checked, our 401 at certain spots um, are like 18 lanes, I seem to recall. I could be wrong. So I'm not placing any wagers on that. But I did read one time that um, our 401 highway that runs across the top of our city. And I say our city because I grew up there. But I don't live there anymore. Most people get out <laughs> eventually. It's hectic. It's it's. It, uh, there are always people who love city life, and uh, I enjoyed it for a little while. Though I was never ever directly downtown. Um, I was always just on the outskirts. I still needed a bus and the subway to get right downtown. I'm really off topic. Boy, it takes me, what, three minutes to get off topic? I'm on a roll today. I got happy mail. I got happy mail yesterday, which uh, was such a lovely surprise. And uh, it's, um, hubby and I are terrible for picking up our mail. Our mail is not delivered right to our house. We have a mailbox that's actually down the road and around the corner. And we're terrible. We're, we're both bad. And I even could go get it because I walk the dog every day. But that's not my favorite route to go. So um, we're terrible. So I don't know how long it was sitting there. But it was a delight when he walked in the door and said, hey, I picked up the mail, there's a pile of it. And I said, well, of course. And uh, he said, there's a package for you. And, oh, a package. Yes. And it was, it's from Anna. Thank you, Anna. And those of you who don't know Anna, it's because her channel on YouTube here and Instagram is made by Granath. And I hope, Anna, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me write that out for you so that you can, uh, you can find Anna. So she is made by Granath. 
And I believe on Instagram, it's just at made by Granath all in one. And uh, if you're not following her, you should. Um, she's a very talented junk journal maker, I think. Um, if you like the style of journals I create, you will love Anna's work. Um, I love Anna's work. And uh, it's not very often I think about, hmm, maybe I want to... I, I, I'm usually in the process of making books and sending them out into the world, but I have been drooling over Anna's journals. I'm just going to leave that there. But uh, so uh, go over and check her out. I'll put uh, a link down below. But um, Anna, um, I messaged Anna about something and Anna messaged me back. Oh, you know what it was? She showed some papers she had used in one of her books and she found a new uh, she thrifted another of this book and I said wow that book is beautiful and she offered to send me some pages <laughs> oh I'm not gonna say no I'm no fool and uh, so that's what I thought the package was the pages of the uh, of this particular book that she had found I I looked it up online, and for me to get it here in Canada, it's way out of my price range. But um, now I've got some pages, so I'm a happy girl. Anyhow, Anna sent me happy mail, and she even, I hope you don't mind if I got into it, Anna, but Kirby insisted she even sent Kirby some happy mail. She sent Kirby, look at that, isn't that sweet? For Kirby. <laughs> Some schmackos. <laughs> so, uh, and, and Kirby uh, very kindly says woof woof, which I guess means either yummy or thank you or a bit of both. Um, they're just little chewy treats. And uh, they, they are a big hit. So, um, she uh, she enjoyed one yesterday, and uh, she can have one later today. It's so nice to have a little dog that doesn't have any dietary restrictions. Our last two dogs had dietary restrictions. Our dog, Emma, couldn't have any grain products. She had, <laughs> sorry about the details, hemorrhagic colitis, and it would be triggered by wheat. Wheat and corn would trigger it. So we had to be careful even about crumbs falling on the floor. And you know dogs, I mean most dogs should all be named Hoover. <laughs> That's one of the main reasons to get a dog. If you want your floors, if you don't ever want to have to sweep or vacuum, get a dog. You won't ever have to. <laughs> and then our little Dot, by the end, had pancreatitis, and dogs that have pancreatitis need to be on a low-fat diet. So um, for a while there, she was on a low-fat prescription diet, and then I didn't even, I wasn't even happy with that, and I was literally making homemade dog food for Dot. So it's very nice to be able to give Kirby little treats. And uh, so Kirby says, thank you very much. And so do I. And uh, yeah, so we got into that. But um, we didn't get into the others. I'm going to back up. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Okay. So she included, and I, I did get into this too. I must confess, but I will be honest, I didn't get into anything else, although it looks like I got into this. But I'm not sure whether I did that, trying to get into it, or whether Customs got into it. Customs may have smelled this in it and got into it. Um, 
Yeah, I think customs got into it because there's a slice there and I opened it down here. So customs, um, so the bag here, it's, it's only the bag, thank goodness, but although it's a shame because it's a pretty bag, um, either, either Anna's customs or Canada customs, uh, decided, hmm, what's in this package? And, uh, but fortunately for Kirby, uh, they said, oh yeah, this is okay. This is for uh, doggos. And you know what? Everyone loves a little doggo. So, and uh, Anna included a lovely little note. Thank you for that, Anna. It, um, very sweet note and very timely, especially with us um, the past week or so worrying so much about our little girl. So, um, very, very uh, kind of you. And she included some extras. So I'm going to hold this off and we'll go through that little envelope. But I want to see these pages from this book. And even there's lilacs, a lilac sticker that was holding the bag closed before somebody's customs got into it. Thank goodness they didn't damage the pages. What a relief. Oh, they might have got, yeah, that was them. That wasn't me. They might have got the top page. Stinkers. Oh, look at these. Yeah, they just got the top page. The others underneath are fine. The top one got their blade. Oh, well. Look how pretty that is. Oh, this book really is, you're right, Anna, this book is beautiful. I can't remember the name of the book, so Anna, if you could comment down below and leave the title of the book in case anyone else wants to look for it. Oh, oh I'm really looking forward to using these, and the size of these uh, folios are such a nice size. Oh my goodness, look at that. Very, very pretty. The colors are lovely. I love that the paper is creamy and matte. It's not shiny. Oh, these, these will not be fussy cut. These are going in as is. They're so nice. Wow. Very, very pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Very pretty. Oh, I keep saying it. I know, but it's it's a treat to have um a different um, source now of uh, bot botanical folios to reach for when I'm putting a book together. This is, uh, I'm really looking forward to tucking one or two of these into books. Oh, look at those little, those little books. And I guess this is Finnish? Swedish? I, I must, I, I fully admit to my ignorance as far as recognizing, I, I recognize French, I recognize Spanish. Sometimes I have good luck with Portuguese or Italian, but, oh, isn't that pretty? Love this. We have these over here. I love to go canoeing and finding them. We used to rent a cottage up north on a lake in Ontario. You can look it up called Buckhorn Lake. And we'd go canoeing and find water lilies. And, uh, and bring us, always bring some back and put them on the table in a little bowl for the week. 
because we'd rent the cottage for the week so that we could go fishing for the week. In fact, it's one of the reasons why I have a lily, a water lily tattoo here. There's many reasons why I have that. But uh, besides that they're beautiful. I love that they grow down deep down in the mud in the darkness and they have to reach up and up and up through the water, through the darkness and break through the surface to get into the air and get up to the sunlight. It's just very meaningful to me. Look at that. Oh, oh boy. Pages alone have spoiled me. Love them. Love the little bag. That will get uh, collaged into some things. Might make some little bags. I'm not going to let somebody's customs go on after dog treats get into that. And then there's a little a little tuck spot that she has created with some little goodies. Thank you. So some playing cards. Oh, now that's unusual. I don't have any playing cards with this kind of face on it. I love that. Two of clubs. Three of clubs. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look how pretty she is. And her beautiful dress. Isn't that something? They look similar. I wonder if they were either the same woman or related. Their eyes look similar. She looks, she's got a little fuller face. I'm going to pause for a second because I'm going to sneeze. Phew. Oh, thank you for these. These are the real deal. Rudolf Spory, Stockholm. Wow. All right, this is something I've never had. What a treat. Oh, isn't she lovely? I love how they would dress up a dress with simply a crocheted collar to lay around it so that they could reuse it over any other dress that they were wearing and and feel pretty. Now, some little glassine envelopes. What have we got? Some little tickets. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to Google Translate these and find out what I'm looking at. There's quite a few. I wonder if they're stickers. The back feels like they might be stickers. Very pretty. Thank you. And the little envelope. Whoa! Don't you love how junk journalers just find a treasure in everything. Not even just the contents. <laughs> Whatever it's wrapped in. Oh, that's cool too. Wow. Look at that. The Diamond Jubilee Safety Match made in Sweden. Very pretty. Oh, these are a treasure. Anna, thank you so much. The mountain safety matches made in Sweden. So these would have gone on matchboxes. Okay. Impregnated. Oh my. The horse head. Oh, I love that. Safety matches. These might have to go aside and go into experiment number two. 
I've been I've been addicted to TikTok. It's falling season on TikTok, and I've been addicted to a few um, horse farm accounts of uh, thoroughbreds and quarter horses, and uh, I just I can't get enough. <laughs> so uh, these two are going to go back to back, and they're going to be part of my. Um, making the edges look raggedy of the sides. Those are mine. I'm claiming them. They're mine. Right, shit. Safety matches. I love it. Oh. This is where everything will go back into the envelope and I will write from Anna on it. Oh, I like these. See, here's where I hope maybe these are a laxative. <laughs> oh dear. Grow up, Catherine. Pambaya, Uganda. That looks like cotton on it, right there. Manop, Manapol. Safety matches. I noticed that that's still in English, that the safety matches is in English. Three steamers, safety matches. Three globes, safety matches. Made at Tidehome, Sweden. Tidehome, Tidehome. Three pipes. Oh, I love the smell of a pipe. I wouldn't want to have to smell it all the time, but it brings back happy memories of one of my uncles who liked to pipe. And I liked it for... When he first lit it, it would smell so yummy. But then after a few puffs, I had to go somewhere else because it didn't smell so good anymore. But the freshly lit pipe. Oh, some stamps. Oh, aren't these pretty? Oh, I love that one. Look at that. Italia. Oh, I might have to keep that one too. If you're wondering what I'm doing up here is um, experiment number two. I've been working on it, getting some um, messy looking mess sticking out the sides. And I will be doing a video on it. Oh, these are nice. Wow, thank you for sharing with me and sending them all the way across the ocean. And that's why I love how small the world becomes with the internet. It's one of the good sides of the internet. Oh, a little puppy. All it needs is a white nose and a little white flash on its chest and we'd have Kirby. Fox. We have those red foxes just wandering right around our neighborhood. Oscar. Very pretty. I love these. Thank you so much. Oh, is there one more in there? There's one more. You were hiding. A little natural. I love that it's just green and ivory. Very pretty. Thank you. Postcard. I know who she is. Yeah, Orlean. La vie de Jeanne d'Arc. The life of Joan of Arc. The maid of Orleans. Well, I didn't say that, but that's what, from what I've read about her life. Oh, that handwriting is so nice. I wonder what year that is. 
I'm wondering if it's 1917. Magnifying glass. No, nothing there. I can't make it out. Marguerite. Mademoiselle Marguerite something. Ecole, Ecole Normale. Avanti. So that would be normal school, public school. Thank you so much. Wow. All right. Well, you, you spoiled me, Anna. He's amazing. Thank you. In addition to the papers, I didn't expect this. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> there was more. These aren't they pretty? Oh, I love little birds. Oh, they're tiny cards. Oh, I love it. Very nice. Thank you so much. Wow, what a treat. And thank goodness customs didn't ruin all of these by just boom going right through it. Um, only one, and thank goodness there's a high enough um, border on it that the page will be quite usable. So there we go. I've got someone having a snooze over here who's going to be very happy after lunch and have a little bit of a schmuckle. Five schmackles, 30 calories. Oh, that's not bad. Less than 30 calories. Maybe I should resort to schmackles instead of what I get into. Anna, thank you so much. Much appreciated, especially these beautiful pages and the extra treats. What a surprise. And uh, again, if you, uh, where did I put it? Go over and have a look at what she makes because uh, her journals are, are beautiful. She, she does a similar thing. She takes old books and uh, the way I like to look at it, she, she honors the book by trying her best to reinforce the spine and, and just refill it with lots of fun stuff and make it, give it a new life. Um, I mean, we always honor the book. If we have to give it a new spine, we have to. But it's nice when you can save the original spine. That's a treat. All right. I am going to get going because it is L-U-N-C-H time. Um, someone over there, I can't say her name because her ears will perk up, for the time being has to go back on to three meals a day instead of two meals a day, um, smaller meals. So. Uh, just for hopefully just temporary, but if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. We can, I have three meals a day. She can have three meals a day. All right. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll be back with uh, another video today because I do have work to do. I am, I am messing up the sides here of uh, experiment number two and then I will be ready to sew the text block together. I have been playing with the, that latest thing um, of creating paperclip tabs for your books and I'm, I am a visual learner so I have to create my own 
templates to help my brain understand. So I hit pause and play and pause and play and pause and play um, to try and figure it out for my own brain. And uh, I have been having some challenges because um, I get most of my large and small paper clips from thrift shops and they're usually just in sandwich bags just chucked in sandwich bags and not every company makes their paper clips a uniform size so um and i wasn't about to start sorting through to find all the same size so i did figure out a way to do it um to make my own pattern that would accommodate any large size paper clip rather than them needing to be the same size. Anyhow, I'm off topic. Thank you, Anna. Go visit her sites. And uh, if I don't see you again today, have a great rest of your day. And if I do see you again today, well, then I'll say hi again. Take care. Bye.